Hey guys, this is Escalation 4 here with a new review for you guys. Excuse the background noise, my little sister is playing video games. But yeah, today I am reviewing the Irwin Toy Super Saiyan Gohan figure. And um, I, I really love this figure. It's definitely good. It kind of, the paint job is kind of basic, but I don't know, the figure is good. I like it, you know, I definitely do. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to unbox it. Mine actually came open when I bought it, so, you know, that's okay. Okay, so first let's look at, um, take a closer look at the packaging. So we see here on the top that says Dragon Ball Z in silver font, you know, has a choking hazard thing, and then like, um, the Z there. And I, I know that most, a lot of you had questions about why the Irwin toy figures have two different kinds of packaging. They have the one, the silver packaging, and they have the standard orange Dragon Ball packaging that says Dragon Ball Z and like the, the, you know, the original fonts. But this is like a silver one. Why? Okay, the difference is comic stores and other stores like that, like comic stores and like um, little shops, like not any retail place had this kind of packaging. So comic stores and um, little like markets like that had this kind of packaging, the silver packaging like that. And the ones with the original Dragon Ball Z lettering, the orange one, the orange and red, or the yellow and red, um, were from retail stores like Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, those had that kind of packaging. I don't really think there's a difference in value because I never heard of that really. There's just two different kinds of packaging depending on where you get it. I never thought one was more rare than the other, it's just two different kinds of packaging. Anyway, so yeah. Um, here is a closer look at the Gohan in the package. He comes with a medallion, you know how they used to come with those, and three Dragon Balls. And then it says Cell Saga, Super Saiyan Gohan, Goku there. Now we turn it around. Hi. Okay. And there's the silver lettering again, erwintoy.com. Uh, collect them all. All the figures in the series, of course. Um, these look different than the ones that you actually get. <laughs> You know, there's a Dr. Jiro there, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Gohan, and Trunks. So, now I'm going to unbox the figure for you. Stand it up. Time to take it out of the packaging. So, mine came opened already, so all I do is lift it up. And I can just slip it back out, slip it back in whenever I want to. So it won't damage the packaging, and it looks like new. So, you know, it comes with those things that I showed you already. Show you a closer look at the medallions. You're supposed to really supposed to, like, you know, collect them and stuff, but, you know, I never really gave a shit about these. I just cared about the figure inside. So this one has Goku, and it says Trunk Saga there, Dragon Ball Z, the heart virus that... Trunks predicted attacks Goku during the showdown with Android 19. So I don't know, it just says a little something about the picture. And then it comes with Dragon Balls, which you can take out, but I'm not going to take out. I'd rather just leave them in there. Because once you take them out, the plastic in the back gets all fucked up. So um, here is the six star ball, and the three star, and the two star. So that's cool. There you go. It always comes, always used to come with Dragon Balls. And of course the figure, which I just take out. And there we go, the Gohan. Yeah, let me zoom. Let me focus. Sorry, okay. So I love the Gohan figure. Um, definitely one of my favorites from Erwin Toy. I mean, I would've liked it a little bit more if they added better, like, more detailed paint job, of course, because it's a really basic paint job, you know, no shading or anything. But it's still good, I like it. The the hair sculpt, I, I really love this hair sculpt. You know how some Gohan toys have his hair going the other way? It's kind of annoying, I always didn't really like that, so I'm happy that they got the, the his hair right. His hair is actually standing to the left, which, you know, that's how I, that's how it's supposed to be. It's always how, like, like that in the anime, at least. So yeah, I love the hair sculpt. His face looks good. Awesome. Um, like I said, it would have been cool if they added detail to the to the paint job of his clothing. That would have been cool. His muscles too. But you know, it's just it looks still pretty. It's still a pretty cool figure. And if you can see his hand, 
right there, his hands. I don't know if you can really see that, but if you look closely, his hands. I'm trying to focus on his hands. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but they actually put nail indents, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so the cape is actually painted white plastic, so you can watch out because the paint can scratch off or you can get paint marks on it. And the clothing is actually like the pants and the shirt and everything. His gi is molded plastic, per like, you know, it's purple plastic, not like um any paint, so it doesn't come off or anything. I always like that better. I do, because then you don't have any paint chips. But his belt is actually painted on, and so is his wristbands and his shoes, so those could chip off, and his hair too. Um, yeah, really cool figure. Here's a back view of him. Nice looking. One more look from the front. Really cool Gohan figure. I really like it a lot. So yeah. Um, let me show you the articulation of him. Well, his head moves back and forth, but I, I don't suggest you moving it much because then like, you'll take off the paints. Like, because his, his chin, if you can see that right there, his chin is actually hitting the cape, so if you move it too much, like you'll you'll start scraping off the paint of the cape. So yeah, he has very limited with his head because his cape does not come off. That's another thing I I don't really like about the figures that you cannot remove the cape or anything. You can't pop off the head or you can't take it off. You know, it just it's kind of stuck there unless you cut it out, like cut it off. So that's the only thing that sucks about it. You can't remove the cape. Well. It's still okay though, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, limited on the head. His head, uh, his hands move 360 like that. You know, his wrists. And then um, his arm moves outward and inward, up and back. But of course, his, his arm movement is also very limited because of his cave. That's the thing that sucks. I would have loved it even more. It would have been definitely one of the best if you were able to remove the cape. His waist does not move at all. His legs move up. And, of course, it can't move all the way back because of his cape. And he bends at the knee like that. And his um, ankles don't move at all. So, that's really it. Um, let me, I guess let me do a height look at him. Like, you know, how tall he is. I'll do the measuring tape right now. Um, okay. He is five and a half inches tall, if you can see that right there. Of course, a standard size. And that's really it. That's all I have to say about the Irwin Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, Teen Gohan. Um, next, I'm going to be reviewing the Model Kit Gohan by Irwin Toys. Almost the same as this one, but like as a model kit, which I actually like better than this one and I think you guys would agree too once you see that review of him because you you can do much more with him than this figure. It is taller but it's a really cool model kit. But anyway, um, you can find them off eBay probably 20 bucks, 25 bucks depending if, if it's loose it'll be cheaper, if it's in the package it'll be like 25 bucks, 30 bucks even. So yeah, um, do you guys like this figure? I really like the figure a lot. Um, hope you enjoyed the unboxing of it too. It's very rare that I will do unboxings. <laughs> this one was open, so that's good. So anyway, yeah, that's it on the Teen Gohan, Super Saiyan Teen Gohan, and until my next review, guys, peace.